If you're planning on installing EFI in your old muscle car, but you don't want to get a new tank and you don't have anywhere to plumb a return line, you don't need to weld on your tank to put a return line in it. What you need to do is call CPP and order up one of their universal return line fittings. Which also just won the NSRA product of the year. This is a really neat fitting. When uh, Danny first showed it to me, I was really impressed and I wasn't sure how it worked, so he walked me through it. What happens is, this fitting's all made out of aluminum. It's got a half inch shaft. You drill a half inch hole in your tank on any flat surface. You slide it through and you start running this bolt down. You're gonna hold this with another wrench that takes a one inch wrench and you're gonna tighten this bolt. It's gonna get really snug and what happens is this shaft starts to deform and it fills the hole. Then as this bolt gets tighter, it starts to fold over and effectively becomes a riv nut, making this bung, this fitting, tight against the wall of the tank. Uh, Danny reported you can put about 120 PSI through this thing and it doesn't leak, but you're not gonna see that in your uh, return line fittings, I hope. But uh, this is a great solution if you're retrofitting your stock tank and you don't have anywhere to run a return line. You just pop a hole in it, tighten the bolt down, replace it with the fitting. They come with uh, either MPT threads or like this guy right here, this is an ORB fitting. It uses an O-ring and straight threads. It goes straight to a dash six return line. So you could run it on a hard line. You could run it on stainless braided, push lock, whatever you want to run. And it'll look great and it'll do the part.